Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to review the war movie 12 Strong, a movie that stars Chris Hemsworth, Michael Shannon and Michael Pena. And it is a film that depicts the true life events of a US Special Forces team that is deployed to Afghanistan uh, immediately after the events of 9-11 in order to try and take down the Taliban with the help of an Afghan warlord. Now I went into this movie not even seeing a trailer. Um, I knew it was exi I knew it existed. I knew it was out there. I'd not even seen any reviews of this film yet, so I didn't even know anything about this movie. I didn't even know what era the war film was set in. I'd not even really seen any screenshots, posters, hardly anything. I've just seen a couple of pictures here and there. Um, and then when I realised what it was about, I'm like, okay, so this is quite a sensitive subject here. It's a war movie that depicts the events of 9/11 and the US's response military wise immediately following that so I thought okay this hopefully they're going to handle this with a little bit of care because let's be fair the fact in the past the US when it comes America when it comes to making movies especially war based movies that they've been involved in have been known to stretch the truth a little bit now okay you're making a film you're making entertainment but um, I think if it's a true life event you have to be um, factual to the events now I'm not saying this movie uh, isn't factual to the events because to be fair I don't know I've not researched it particularly well um, and as a movie itself this this is fine um, it's not a bad film at all w but what bugs me a little bit about this movie is because it it says it's tr um, it's based on true life events it's inspired by true life events whatever they want to call it these days um, and then it is such a sensitive subject um, what bothered me a little bit is some is some of the stuff it depicted in this movie that was uh, you know just entertainment purposes and some of the dialogue was you know so cliched it was face palm stuff I mean when you've got dialogue in a movie like this where you've got some, uh, you know the Afghan warlord saying to Chris Hemsworth you know you need to stop thinking like a soldier and thinking more like a warrior and pointing to his heart I mean you're just like oh my god what is this Rambo this isn't the 80s anymore um, and it just grated I think that a lot of the dialogue in this movie grated um, some of the emotional stuff they tried to put in there where you know they're, they're depicting the Afghan children fighting and some of the US soldiers you know um, looking after them and stuff it missed the mark for me it didn't work um, I don't think it's the first time I, th I thought I'd ever say this. I don't think Chris Hensmith excelled in this role. I didn't believe him. Michael Shannon, I thought the role should have been reversed. I think Michael Shannon would have been a better Chris Hemsworth in this movie, and Chris Hemsworth would have been a better Michael Shannon. I would have believed it more. Michael Shannon has a much, much more presence, much more authoritarian figure, and the roles were reversed. It was Chris Hemsworth who was in charge, and it was just for his star power. That's all it was. It didn't work for me, the casting. I thought some of the dialogue was pretty shoddy. However, if I was to just detach myself from the fact that this was a real-life event, the movie itself is entertaining enough. The action set pieces and all the action that they show you is very good. It's very exciting. The effects are great. Um, it's a little bit stereotypical in regards to good guys and bad guys all the Taliban are wearing black which may well have been the case I don't really know but it just depicted them as these evil Afghans you know what I mean wearing black and all having dark makeup on and under their eyes and I'm evil because I've just shot a teacher in a village business it was just like hate me because I'm telling you to hate me and I, I would have preferred um, a bit more of a balanced approach not that I, I think the Taliban are, you know deserve that particularly but I think it would have made a better picture if they'd have you know added a, a little bit more realism and professionalism and uh, politics in there just a little bit it was all told from one side um, and it felt too top heavy for me um, in regards to its approach to its storytelling but, like I say, if you just want to watch a, a well-made war movie, there are better ones out there, I'm not going to lie, uh, a lot of better ones, but this is certainly entertaining enough, um, and I was engaged throughout, um, I did enjoy the action, I just didn't appreciate um, some of the casting choices I thought were a bit off. Michael 
Painter, who's usually fantastic in everything, was just there in this movie. You know, he was just a character. Um, and that's not usually him. He usually has standout performances in most of everything. He was just there. And I think the Chris Hemsworth and Michael Shannon roles were miscast. Um, and I thought some of the dialogue was pretty cliched, and the movie itself is a bit cliched. But it's entertaining enough just as an action war movie, so it might be worth a watch from you. Mm -hmm.